before we get into it, I think it needs a little ex explanation. And maybe to start out with, I think it's important to understand that for me and Makina, the season was filled with a lot of really good things, but it also we also had our fair share of struggles. But I think it brings a lot of value to see it come kind of full circle. And in this first season was very much a really good transition from the training part to the hunting part. And I hope that, that we're, we're accomplishing that with this series. But when we roll the cameras in the, in the woods, we don't catch everything. We edit these down differently than we do a training session. That being said, this one here is the first one that I think is gonna show you a bit of the taste of struggles that we had. We were coming off some hunts where she was, she was pointing and holding really well. We were having a lot of, lot of success. And then all of a sudden this hunt, and I had a, a friend up, Noah, um, we're, we're doing some things with some Labrador stuff. And Noah came up and we had a really good couple days together hunting. This one is the second day he was there. My first day hunting with Makina, because the first day we hunted with my buddy Chris's dog, who Chris is in this video as well. We hunted with his dog named Willie. This is the first day I ran Makina, and I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm pretty full of anticipation to show show my dog off a little bit. Like I felt very good about that. She didn't hunt real well, and I shouldn't say that. I, I, I say that, but it's not true. It's not that she didn't hunt real well. It's that we had some problems. We had some struggles. We had, for the first time, a lot of what I felt was unsure points, uncertain points, unproductive points. We still got nice, nice stuff out of this hunt, but the cover that we went to didn't have nearly as many birds as I thought it would. The birds that were there, she a combination of didn't handle well, uh, a combination of were really smart. I think they've seen some serious pressure. They adjusted pretty, pretty well to the hunting to not be killed. So you're gonna see that as this goes, and I'm gonna narrate into it a little bit, but I wanted to intro this because that's the important part I feel about this episode. One of the important parts of it is you're gonna to start to see some of the, some of the stuff that we struggled with. So uh, we'll get into it. Right from the start, she had some uncertainty in pointing point move, point move, point move, just never really feeling like we had it. Starting out, I was like, we are gonna have a bird here. We didn't produce birds, we didn't produce birds, and eventually that kind of wears on me in my confidence in her, so you're gonna see that right off the start here. Now when she goes out and point up there, Chris, you... <laughs> you're not gonna be far down. See you right here. Okay, move up, move up, move up. There she's on point again. Get ready. Walk in there, Chris. I'm gonna go over. It's gotta be a woodcock. I was thinking woodcock for sure, yeah. but now I'm thinking running girls. Looks like it's later in the fall, but the leaves literally fell off like in the couple days prior to this. It's the first week, I believe, of October. I was under the impression that, man, these dogs are gonna have a way better opportunity. We're gonna have better shooting because of it, and that all makes sense. But I felt like it was probably her biggest hurdle this season was the transition of heavy cover, dense cover in the woods from a foliage standpoint to non. And that that could have very well, I think, played into it. The setter was the dog that belonged to the poachers. The pointers were the dogs that belonged to the noblemen. And the reason was they both were good hunting dogs for birds, but the, the, the noblemen had kennels that the dogs were kept and they had kennelmen that took care of them. And those dogs were kennel dogs. They didn't really have that connection. They just hunted. They were hunting machines. Yeah. They didn't have necessarily that connection to the handler. Where the poachers, the thieves, they slept with their dogs. Like they were, mm -hmm. that's they were gypsies with their dogs. So they want they had developed the dog that had the more strong connection to the handler. Now that's just what he told me. But I thought, you know what? Kind of makes sense. Yeah. But he said they'd have kennels full of pointing dogs on estates. Blue Jay. and. Then the guys that would go and hunt the rich man's land, he curled up in the 
He used his dog to keep him warm. This is a corner that there's always a couple birds on. You're, you'll see it, you'll hear it, but you'll also, I think, start to hear some of my frustration and my fading confidence. It's real evident to me after watching it now. I'm glad I have this to think back and look back on. There it, there it goes. You see it? Go through it. Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah we, I saw it. Got high, nice gray bird. She was tracking it towards you. Yep, right there, straight up the hill. That was the first one that went this way was gray. That one was uh, looked like a brown, but. After that happened, I just saw myself take this deep breath and almost a sigh. It wasn't a relief, it was a frustration. And so now I'm looking back on it and I, I'm totally getting, re-feeling these emotions of, man, I just, it, it bothered me to see her inability to handle these birds. Now, all of that said, and looking back on it now and not in the moment, she had a lot of opportunities on birds but how few opportunities that were like this in these conditions, it wasn't her fault. It was a learning thing for her. Um, and, and now it's a learning thing for me, so. Yeah, that bird must have Those birds are down in the bottom. Yeah. Out of the wind. Out of the wind. This whole back side of it just going to be good when we go down there. So too, she hit a point there. It's like she touched the scent. I don't think she even smelled this bird, the no. second one. She had no, di no idea it was in there. Let's, let's sneak in as quiet as we can. 46. She's right down here. I see her in the hole. Go right up over the top. Is she or isn't she? And then I'll, and so I'll start doubting her and I'll start getting frustrated a little bit nope. and I'll start cursing her under my breath. I won't let you guys hear it, but I'll, I'll start saying it quietly. And then all of a sudden, boom, she's gonna get one really she's well. One. And then I'm gonna go, you fucking doubt her. Uh -huh. Don't doubt. It's like right? one yesterday yep. evening. It's to like, oh. 100%. Right, right. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. I do it all the time where I, a half of a hunt and all of a sudden I'm second guessing my dog and then all of a sudden she, Cruising me Sometimes I feel like you just gotta shoot. Like Willie was shit yesterday, I feel like, until, you know, he ran one woodcock over, one kind of flushed wild, but he sort of ran that one. You know, he put too much onto it. We shot at the one, and I feel like he kind of. Sometimes when I'm training retrievers, I feel like I really gotta push through something, and sometimes the answer is stop. Don't go away from it. And then come back to it, and all of a sudden it sticks. And I go, well, all I need to do is get the hell away from it for a while, stop. It's almost a reset button, well, um, you know? Yeah. Like a, if it were a computer, I'd be rebooting it. And sometimes it's minutes and sometimes it's weeks. But then all of a sudden I feel like I go back to it and I go, well, why was I so worked up about it? Let her roll around and be a puppy for once. <laughs> Instead of being pissed off at it and going, why are you an idiot? Because she's certainly having fun. Like, totally. She's hunting the right cover. She's not doing like, it intentionally. No. When she bumped that second bird, I don't think she even knew it was there. No. She's on the top side of the wood. Right. So, even that so there's first my bent. I think even that even the first one that flushed, I don't she know was, if she did anything wrong. I think yeah. they're just f***ing cagey she, birds. She you got know? too close to it. Yeah. She, she, she pointed it well for a minute. Yeah. And tracked it well. Right. Relocated. She waited till we got over the hill. I saw her. Oh, yeah. When she started moving, I, saw, I could see her. Mm -hmm. She has a tendency to do that. Let you get to, let you get in vision and then piss you off. Right, right. So <laughs> don't make it, don't piss me off until they can see me. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah. Taylor. Taylor, stop grazing. All right, are you ready to find one and Let's do let me yeah. say, see, I told you so? Mm -hmm. so you yeah. gotta relax, old man. Good. Roll it out. Good. Heal. That to me is always what I love about those dogs. It's yeah. back to work. Yeah, she ain't moving. She's pointed 38. Oh no. A grouse just went, but she's still holding. It was that bird. It was up here, what? I mean. That bird flushed right there. From, yeah. I saw it. She was pointing that bird. 
from way down there. It was running that hard. It had to have been 40 yards. At least. There's another one, another one. She just learned something. I don't know what, but <clears throat> I mean, well, and it could have even been that it was just us talking that that bird was right. And that that bird, and she hit old tent down here, and it just happened that that bird had already moved up here. There's so many scenarios there that you just don't know. But she, that was a nice point. Right. Why did she break the point? I imagine the bird moved. She certainly didn't break on this flush. No. She was on that bird. No. And then as she relocated, she bumped it. Which, did she smell it or not when she relocated it? We didn't see, so it's, we're speculating. But like yesterday, we saw her move when she wouldn't see the bird. And sometimes the bird flushed and sometimes it didn't. Hmm. Well, I don't know, I just go back to the idea like we were talking about before. How long has it been since she pointed a bird? 45 minutes or something. Oh like God. That. I mean, a long, a while. We're, it's been at least 45 minutes. So we can sit and, like what I'll do is I'll sit and go, you fucking forget what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like, is he, is he working right now? And then all of a sudden, bam, he slams one. You walk, I, I'll walk through all that cover and go, there's just no reason there's not a grouse here. He's gotta be missing him. He's gotta be missing him. He's gotta be missing him. Right. Flush She's him not missing up. birds. She's not missing birds. Cause we'd have heard him flush. Yep. So you just gotta, it's, I don't know. I, I don't want to say it. confidence, but faith again, yeah, right? It's what it is. To run through this kind of cover, find those birds, Hold a point through a flush. Right. Relocate. Yeah, you can't tell me again. she. You can't tell me she didn't hear it. She had to oh, heard that fuck. flush. I heard it. Yeah. But stop. Point again, and that other one just flushed. Wild. And if we could have done that one better or dif done that one different, we probably got to a when she points, start going to her. Not in a rush, but rush. we got to move to her. And then Help when she out. when yeah. start when action starts and she's still standing, we better not stand here and talk about it. We should just move to her. Right. Just keep moving to her. Because it, we'd have gotten closer to at least see what happened. Right. Mm -hmm. And if that bird flushed because she didn't, I mean, I don't think she flushed it necessarily. She's 40, 50 yards from it, I feel like. Right. She, she didn't bump it. But if we get up over the hill and that bird's running and jumps, we could shoot that bird and have a chance. We don't have a chance when we're standing back here going, what happened there? Right. So that's learning on our part too. Yep. They're just it's hard. It's to piss me off. But when you connect on one, boy, oh, oh boy. so much more rewarding. Yeah. When you do kill one, you right. really like, appreciate it, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.